Me needs blankets. Hey everybody, it's Kiwi and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be customizing an apron. It's from the brand Crafty Kids. Not sponsored by the way. I used some of their paints in my last art video. It'll be linked in the description. My last art video was about, you know, me customizing bags because it was my first time using fabric paint, but now I'm customizing an apron. First, we need to unbox this thing. Bing. And then we just pull it out and we have our apron. So if we fold this out, this is the apron. Let's get customizing. Okay, so first I'm just whipping up some nice pastel colors. Now, if you watched my video, my first time using fabric paint, I actually had pastel colors. So the people who watched that, you guys might be wondering, why don't you just get your those colors out well i those are really pastel colors and i just want normal pastel not super pastel and for the people who watched my video my first time using fabric paint you guys might be wondering why did i make my own orange color when i had a bottle well i can't find the bottle so i had it to make my own orange color so i just need to make the line between where like i'm gonna do a rainbow because i am gonna do a pastel blendy rainbow because i'm gonna also use this for art and uh i'm not gonna tell you what else i'm gonna do but i needed to make that line because i don't want the whole thing to be all um blendy rainbow so yeah so you might be wondering why are you doing blendy rainbow for art? Well, you know, like blendy and stuff are like art. So this, so the blendy rainbow represents the art piece of my apron. This is a perfect time to tell you guys that my friend's dogs have a YouTube channel. Yes, it's called Doug and Joey because that's their names. One's named Doug and not one's named Joey. And yeah i'll put link in the description down below i actually help the, with the videos and yeah also just blending green and yellow is a little hard so if you're doing blending rainbow be prepared for that so i didn't go for a second coat for the blendy rainbow because i just thought it didn't need it the colors are already so vibrant you guys might be wondering, what am I doing in that bottle? Well, I'm actually whipping up a nice brown chocolate color because I'm also going to do like a brown chocolate drip for the, um, because I'm also going to use this for baking. So, you know, for the baking part. This is so satisfying. Now I'm drawing the chocolate drips. So yeah, that's me drawing them. I actually looked up chocolate drips on the internet and I just copied a picture. And yeah, I didn't necessarily copy it. I just needed to see how the chocolate drips go. So the chocolate color I was going for was necessarily more like a, uh, how should I explain this? a chocolate milk colors but i know fabric paint actually dries a little darker so i actually had that in mind so i felt actually happier when i uh remembered about that oh and this is also another perfect time to tell you my cat actually also has a youtube channel yep it's called felix the fat cat because you know he's fat and i'll put his channel in the description down below going in for the second coat also so the doug and joe youtube channel and actually felix the fat cat youtube channel they actually edit their own videos it's pretty crazy that animals can do that we try not to tell a lot of people but we tell people because you know it's their youtube channels so yeah just want to put that out of the way and yeah 
Oh, and you probably saw on my iPad I was, like, watching something. I was actually watching Mariah Elizabeth YouTube videos because, you know, she does arts and crafts, so I like watching stuff while I'm doing arts and crafts. Okay, so a couple more coats of that, and boom! Now, I'm just touching up with my colors because uh, when I went to paint, you know, the drips, some of it were out of the line, so I just need to touch up some of that, and yeah. Oh, and do you guys remember when I said that I had, I can't find my orange? Well, guess what? I just found it because I was organizing some stuff. And I just found it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, seriously, it was in um, a bag that I guess I didn't check. So, I have the orange. <laughs> um. Oh, and I, you guys might see me like filming from different camera angles. I was just trying uh, new things. Um, Cause you know, in these hand videos that I'm like fast forwarding, I just, uh, all you can see is kind of me working. So I just want to test some new camera angles just to make the experience more um, good. Voila, all the touch-ups are done. I'm just unboxing these fabric paints for more colors. So I'm painting on sprinkles, but they look very, very sloppy. I was just trying to work with it. <laughs> and like the fabric paints I opened, they did not have orange for some reason. And I didn't feel like making an orange color, so I was just going with it. I wanted to do rainbow sprinkles. And also their purple was dried out. Well, I can't say I expected good because it was just like $1 for that. Yes, I got rid of the sprinkles. Okay, now I'm going for the in for the highlights and like I told you when I did my strawberry um bag the highlights were the best part of the project. I'll try to insert insert a video here. Okay, okay so, so now, now I'm adding, adding the highlights, highlights and no exaggeration, this made the drawing well not drawing, the painting a million times better. There proof. Oh, and now I'm just doing touch-ups again, um, cause you know, we need more touch-ups. I loved making this apron. It was just so fun, and I didn't actually need so much paint, and if you wanna customize your own apron, don't customize the whole thing or you'll need gallons and gallons of paint and also you want some of like it's normal life to be visible because when you decorate something um with fabric paint it's obviously going to be a little more thicker than normal so you want it to also be comfortable it looks really pretty right now but it's going to get prettier trust me okay now with the pencil i'm going to be writing E M, and you're probably wondering why E M, because those are my initials. And then I'm going in for a black fabric paint, and I'm just touching it up with, you know, a paintbrush, and then keep on going in, and then you know, touching up, touching up. Okay, so the touch ups are done. I did them a little bit off camera, and now I'm just going in for some more touch ups. <laughs> I like to do my signature with a little heart because, you know, it adds a little bit of spice to it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you? There it is. I love it so much. I'm going to use this so much for art, and I know I'm a rare. It's going to get a little, you know, kind of ruined, but I don't really mind because it's m meant for art and, you know, Stuff. So yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just 
modeling it. <laughs> I had nobody to help me film this, so I needed to use a tripod and model it on my own. So I really hope you guys like this video. This video is so much effort. And if you guys liked it, don't forget to explode that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.